Hi everybody, hope you're all doing well and you're all staying safe and we hope all of you are ready for VE Day this Friday. Uh, we have our bunting up in the window already to show you here. Um, we just have a couple of little updates that we wanted to give you to let you know what we're doing, what we're up to and how we're operating through the lockdown. Um, so the first thing I just wanted to show you briefly is we have measured our two metres and we've drawn a yellow line. Um, although we're not open, we can't allow anybody into the shop at the moment. If you do happen to be doing your shopping at the Tesco's opposite and you've placed an order with us, you are able to come and collect from the doorstep of the shop but we just ask if you'd be kind enough to stay behind our slightly wobbly yellow line if you've placed an order and you're collecting something unfortunately we can't really take any orders at the door you do need to give us a Facebook message or give us a call if you would like to place an order um, we are still doing our free local delivery as well so if there's anything you need and you're within the local area we can deliver it to you fairly quickly and it's free of charge there's no cost for that so I'm just going to take a wander inside and we'll go and find Anne and Louise who are inside the shop somewhere. We found one. Say hello. <laughs> I don't know what she's up to. What are you folding? Um, I've just measured the last issue. Told somebody there's only two meters left. There's actually 15 and a half. Oh, is there? Okay. Oh, somebody's bought the last of that, but there is a tiny bit left in the bunting packs. Um, so if any of you are decorating for VE Day, we have got some of the London fabrics and do have another look through our Facebook page because we've got a tutorial that shows you how to make the bunting if you're doing decorations for VE Day this Friday. Um, we're going to do it as well. We haven't finished our window display, but we will put something really fun up in the window for VE Day on Friday because it is the 75th anniversary. So I think we kind of ought to. Do you think we kind of ought to? Oh, all right. Oh, they've got it planned. <laughs> They're all sorted. <laughs> so we've got Louise here as well. Say hello. Hiya. When we say planned, it's kind of like a loose thing. <laughs> You've got ideas. They've got ideas. Right. Check back with us on Friday. We have something, but they won't tell me what it is. So I don't know what it is. <laughs> Right, okay, there's another thing that I just wanted to update you all about. Um, this is a slightly boring looking bag on the floor here, but if I can just summon my mother. Oh, Mum, could you do me a favour? You're dragging me away from my coffee, whatever next. Oh, sorry. Um, this is something our customers have been making for the NHS, and we just wanted to show you them close up because they're incredible. Um, so these are ear savers, Precious. and the idea behind them is that you hook your mask onto the ear saver. Onto the buttons. So you hook it onto the buttons so that you're not hooking masks over your ears all day and just getting really uncomfortable. We've got a free knitting pattern on our Facebook page, and I know a couple of our customers have shared on our page a free crochet pattern as well. Which is what that is. Is that the crochet That's one? That's the crochet one. Yeah. yeah. So the ones that are in the bag down here, um, the next batch one? are going to be going to the oncology department, so we are donating them. And then we've got another batch which will be going to to a mental health department at St Peter's Hospital as well. Um, we wanted to talk a little bit about face masks as well because a lot of people have given us a call and asked us if we've got the fabric for face masks. First of all, we're not selling any homemade face masks ourselves, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. Um, but we have got the fabrics. <laughs> they do keep asking, but we're not selling any. Um, and you wanted to show around people some of the fabrics, the pure cottons that you've got. And you've got some lining as well, haven't you? The interfacing. We've still got lightweight interfacing. Um, we're out of the medium now. Uh, oh. like that. That's the one people are using. And that's how much we've got left, so still quite a lot. That was a 100 metre roll. Uh, cottons. Oh, we tidied the shelf. <laughs> this is amazing. So <laughs> one thing, <laughs> when we did our first... It's a miracle. It's a miracle. <laughs> Enough. You haven't been keeping us busy enough. We've had time to tidy this morning. <laughs> when we did our first Facebook Live, we told everybody we we're really sorry for the mess because she's in the middle of a massive tidy up. Um, we haven't quite finished, but it does look good. It does look good. Now we've I got. That's cool, isn't it? Let me see it. Zoom in on it. Let me zoom in on it. Oh, it's, it's all jungle zoo. theme. I like that. And somebody today took one that I hadn't thought of mm. uh, that was ideal for children, and now I can't find it. Oh, here it is. They could be homeschooling and doing their sums at the same time as That's making the really masks. fun. I like that. That's really, really fun. Um, Jane's just asked us how we can, she can get baby buttons. If you give us a phone call, um, not now because you'll come up on our Facebook Live, but if you give us a phone call once our live is finished, we can organise that for you. We're doing free local delivery if you are local to us. Um, the other thing we wanted to talk about was scrub bags, wasn't it? Because you've got some news. Some, oh, she's got I some have, news. I have. If anybody saw us last time, you'd have known about the... Um, the fabrics that was a very big pile last time. There's not much. It's left. not a very big pile now. <laughs> they, were, they all came to us at a bargain price of two fifty a meter, 
But for anybody who was doing the scrub bag, there's bits everywhere here. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, I'm just going to interrupt real quick. Uh, the scrub bags are something we're donating to local hospitals. Our customers are donating them themselves to some different hospitals as well. They're getting donated left, right and centre. But it's basically a bag for an NHS staff member to put their scrubs in or their uniform in so that they can wash them, take them home, wash them at 60 degrees and not have to actually handle that uniform or bring that uniform uncovered into their house. Um, it's a really, really good idea. I think she's just zipped off to get one to show you actually. Actually, have you just zipped off yes, to get I'm one? I'm it's a really boring one, but this material, we, have we got any of this material left? We yeah, we have, this, that's this still one. in the window. We're, we're, no, we're selling... I sold all of that yesterday. Oh, she sold all of it yesterday. Okay, <laughs> we have still got the pale green that's in the window at £1.50 a metre. Um, but yes, it's just a drawstring bag. This is a bit screwed up because I've already washed it at 60 to make sure it's all all right. So you've pre-tested all of the fabrics you're selling for scrub bags, haven't you? So they can be yeah, washed at 60. Yeah, so we know if you ask for a scrub bag fabric, we know which ones are suitable and which ones are not. Um, so that's just one of the scrub bags, just so you can see. And if you fancy having a go at it and joining in, we can collect your donations. Um, you can give them to us and we can send them around to the hospitals we're sending them to. Or you can send them to somebody else. If you know of anybody else doing it, send them on yourself by all means. Um, but there is a tutorial on our Facebook page showing you how to make the scrub bags if you want to get involved but the news the news 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 i'm waffling there's news you're waffling um, we've nearly gone through all these ones that we were selling at two pound a meter so i went back to my supplier and said have you got any more mm, we've got some that are cheap but they're not as cheap as those ones they're not cheap they're reasonably priced <laughs> keep selling me off for this <laughs> the next batch are going to come in i don't know what we're going to sell them at regularly did we make a decision Marie? But we're going to sell them for scrub bags at 250 Oh, fantastic. Uh, we normally sell our poly cottons at £3.20 a metre. Okay, these fabrics she's talking about, I have seen pictures, um, but that's all I've seen at the moment. I know there was one with watermelons. watermelons. That was adorable. Watermelons. It's really, really cool. I can't remember. Flowers. Oh, daisies. Really, daisies really, really are really nice. Yeah. Right, so when are they coming? Do you know when they're coming? He's supposed to be phoning me today uh, with the price, and then he's put in straight in the post. We should have them tomorrow. Tomorrow, oh, yeah. possibly I tomorrow. <laughs> crossed fingers, <laughs> crossed fingers that we're going to have them tomorrow. Yeah. Right, so anybody that has just joined us, just so you know what we're talking about, we just wanted to update you with how we're operating at the moment. Um, obviously, we can't be open to customers, we can't let any of you in. I'm very, very sorry, but we can have a walk around on Facebook and show you what we've got. Um, if you would like anything from the shop, you can give us a call or you can send us a message on Facebook, and we are operating a free local delivery service. So if you're in the local area there's no charge for delivery um, if you are a little bit further away and you're outside of our delivery area we can send you your items with Royal Mail and all we're going to charge you is whatever Royal Mail charge and um, we have put a list up on our Facebook page so you can get an idea of what the prices are um, if you do want to collect from the shop, once again, I would encourage you not to make a special journey to collect from us. But we are opposite the Tesco's on the high street, which I know a lot of people use. So if you are out doing your shopping and want to come over and pick up your items, you're very welcome to do that. But as I said, yeah, you need to, you do need to order it in advance. Give us a ring, send us a Facebook message to place your order and pay for it. And if you are shopping in the Tesco's, you're very welcome to knock on the door and grab them from our doorstep. We've put our yellow line outside so you can see the two meters. Um, and Anne has put her motorcycle. <laughs> outside so you can definitely see the two meters um, and we'll literally just pop them out on the floor for you to step forward and collect do you put them on the bike oh i like that <laughs> that's a good idea yeah you're going to show people some of the wools in case people are just home and bored yeah we can do what would you like to show everybody would everybody like to see some wool I like wool. I like oh, knitting. I, I can't crochet. Do you know I can't crochet? Yeah, I, know. I can only I knit. Can this is why we have a knitting pattern on our Facebook page for the year savers, because I had a go at crochet and I'm rubbish. Um, <laughs> so I found a knitting pattern for us to use. What's this one? This is the shade card for the Mega, mega Knit um, Mega Multi by James Brett. It's a super chunky. Let's zoom in on that one. Let's have a Which look at there? this one. Oh, so this is a good first project if you're bored, isn't it, this one? <laughs> And let's face it, we're all pretty bored, which is why we are back on Facebook talking to everybody again, because it's the only way we can talk to everyone. Um, um, okay. I knitted a shade card. There's one ball of every colour. Is that literally every, every single yeah. colour? Every colour in the range on my jumper. That's fantastic. So what else have you got? Um, shall we show everybody the Bambino? Because that's what I used for the ear savers when I started the ear savers. I love this. I really love this. So this is the little cardigan done in Bambino. Now I've tried really hard to describe to people how it looks kind of twisted when it's knitted up. It's not, it's just a normal yarn. It's literally just the way it knits up. But anybody so, who remembers crepe yarns, 
it looks a, a little bit as if you've knitted with a crepe yarn. It isn't crepe, but it looks that way. Mm. Have we still got any other cotton left? Because people are using cotton for ear savers, aren't they? Um, I think yeah. we have. Now, just so you know, we've got bags of wool, which normally sit out the front of the shop. So at the moment, they have to sit in the shop. We can't be putting things outside. So when you see sort of stuff everywhere, that's part of the reason. Right, this is cotton on, um, which is reduced to clear. It's 50% cotton, 50% acrylic, and that is the last of it. Yep. That you're seeing in the basket there. Yeah, that's then, all we've got left. What um, we do now, because that's all we've got left. There's another pack of blue in the window, so we've still got more of the royal blue. Um, we said ten pound a pack. We haven't got any full packs apart from the royal blue, so ten pound for any ten. Oh, so any ten balls yeah. are ten pound. Yeah, let's, oh, that's let's a good go deal. Let's go for it. So ten balls of the cotton for ten pound. Need to shift it. Need space for new yarns for. Need space actually... for sitting down. That is on a chair <laughs> that I was sitting on earlier, and now I'm not sitting on. <laughs> um, when we do run out of it, our regular cotton is here, which is pure cotton, and it's three pound ten a ball. So when we do run out of the cotton on, we've got the regular cotton available, and we've, we've also got, got Starcraft uh, Classic cotton. That's a little bit dearer. I can't remember the price. You'll have to look at the end of the shelf. Four seventy five for a hundred gram ball. Hundred gram ball. Or they're mostly in fifties now. I think they're two forty. <clears throat> Two seven, yeah, uh, two forty, two forty yeah. for a fifty gram, four seventy five for a hundred. Yeah, uh, cotton's nice for summer, isn't it? And it's getting summer. Yeah, there's very few hundred gram balls left because they've changed over to fifties. So it's just a few colours that we've still got in hundreds. So for anybody that's not been here before, I'll just give you another quick tour around the shop so you can see that's some of the ball, stuff that ball. we do. So up here, knitting needles. So we've got pretty much every size imaginable. Um, we do do a few bamboo ones as well, but you'll have to ask us for your size because there's only a few left in them. Uh, we do do the multi packs of crochet hooks and we single do one. do single packs of crochet hooks. the single packs of crochet hooks as well. Sorry, Helen just asked me a question. Helen, would that cotton on stuff be good for dishcloths? Helen, yeah, I'd, I'd like to just, I'm going to answer Helen because nobody's going to know that Helen is actually my best friend. Um, and I think she's taking the mickey slightly because when she moved into her new house, one of the presents I knitted for her using cotton on was a dishcloth with her initial on and a dishcloth with her partner's initial on. And I got a phone call from her saying, why do I need monogrammed dishcloths? And I was like, well, that's what everybody needs when they move into a new house. So yes, you can use it. You can use it for dishcloths. <laughs> Um, right, this is our button wall, just so you can see our button wall. It is a little fuller than last time you saw it. Now, something the rest of you may, may or not have heard of is the buttons that we're doing for the ear savers. Um, we have still got a few packets to give away. That's not they are, those. Is it not those ones? No, it's I'll the ones on. Oh, they're is. buried. She's buried them. Um, we have still got a few patterns of the but uh, a few packets of the buttons to give away if you're knitting for the NHS and you're knitting ear savers. So if you're buying wool for that, make sure you tell us, and we'll chuck in a free packet of buttons with it as well. Um, we're not 100% sure where she's put them because we've just tidied up. <laughs> Do they look like that? Is that some of them? Dark colours now, except for those ones. Yeah. They're, so these are the free small. ones. Um, we've still got some of those. There's loads, there's loads of them. We've got them dotted about all over the place, but we have got some packs ready made up so we can just chuck a pack of them in your bag of shopping if you're doing the ear savers for the NHS. Please make sure we t you tell us so we don't charge you for your buttons. So just to finish off, there's one little place in the shop I haven't showed you and Louise is currently tidying, so I will go around this way. <laughs> so <laughs> these are all of our sewing threads. Um, so we've got the Gutemann and we've also got the Moon brand, which is really, really good. They're £1.20 and they're 1,000 metre rolls, made by coats. Um, we've got our ribbons, we've got our trimmings. Very important if you're making face masks, we do have the various face mask elastics. Most of them are 20 pence a metre. And if we just carry on round the front here, we've still got some of the cuddle fleece. I'm ever so sorry, particularly to May, we have run out of the rainbow cuddle fleece. Um, but we have still got quite a few different colours in the cuddle fleece available. We have got this one, although it's not rainbow, it's kind of like rainbow stripes, which is quite fun. Um, and we've got this wall over here, which is all the useful stuff. So it's all of the haberdashery, sewing needles, poppers, all of your accessories for your sewing machines, all that sort of thing. Anything for make, do and mend and repairing, all that sort of stuff. Um, if we carry on round, just so you're aware, we have got the ribbons. It's the fixing stuff wall. <laughs> She's shouting at me from the other side of the shop. Because that's what you called it. It is time. the fixing stuff wall. It's the wall you go to if you want to fix stuff. I don't see anything wrong with calling it. She did. She told me off last time, but now she's calling it the fixing stuff wall. I think, that... I think it's funny. <laughs> um, walls, we do do anchor tapestry walls and we do do the DMC threads as well we do do oh Helen's replied to me she says she's not taking the mickey not much 
but her group are doing a thing knitting dishcloths for something charity related. Yes, you cotton. could use it, but we have got dishcloth cotton as well. Send me a message, I'll post you some up. Helen lives um, many miles away in the north, in the land of the dragons. She's going to murder me for saying that. Um, <laughs> so just to finish okay. off, we have got the rest of the lace and the trimmings. <clears throat> and this is the very first thing that my mother did in lockdown. She built some new shelves, which are just <laughs> over the back here. So just to recap, if you are ordering anything from us, give us a call. Our number is 0208 893 779. Or you can send us a message on Facebook to place an order. Um, we were able to take a card payment over the phone. We are not handling cash at the moment. I'm very sorry about that. Um, all we can do is take a card payment over the phone for you. And if you're local, we can deliver to you free of charge. If you're a little bit further away, we can deliver to you for the price of Royal Mail postage. Most people's parcels are coming up at £3.10 just to give you a rough idea. Um, so I think that's all from us for now. Oh, have you? you still got some. Is that the Cassia one? Bargain prices, yeah, £2 each or three balls for fiver. Oh, I like this I know one. We've got a couple of if you look on our, um, our customers' we... projects photo album, we've got a photo album of all of our customers' projects, and one of our ladies sent us a picture of what she did oh, with one of these, which is lovely. Have so, the bunting packs? Oh, have we done the bunting, bunting packs? packs? Louise is telling me off. Louise has got something to show everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I got to follow. I got Chase Louise. She's got something important. This is important. I forgot all about this. Still got some bunting packs. So people kept asking, "Oh, what fabrics have you got?" So we've put together some packs, um, half a meter each of five different poly cottons, with some bias binding, so that you can do the sew version or the cheating. Cut the triangles, staple them on. I like the cheating version. The yeah. cheating version's good. We've got a tutorial. The version she's talking about, we've got a tutorial showing you how to do the stitch traditional triangle bunting. Just have a look back through the videos on our page. Or, if you really don't want to go to that much effort and you want to make loads really, really quickly, we've got the net packs. Um, so you get some of the book binders scrim, which is down here, which is the stuff I showed the other day. It's like bandage. It's very peculiar but it's really tough and it's brilliant for tying bits onto because they don't slip. So you get a bundle of that and a metre of each of the three coloured nets. Mm -hmm. That's a five pound pack. There is a 750 pack and you get two metres of each of the colours. So that's just literally going to make loads of bunting. <laughs> loads and you just literally cut strips, tie them on. I get a feeling we're going to see this bunting outside the shop in a couple of days time. Maybe even this afternoon. <laughs> No, we've done really well actually. Nobody's phoned us whilst we've been on the video. It's because I said to everybody, please don't phone us, otherwise you'll be on our video. <laughs> oh, and if you want a tablecloth, we've got this, it's a dress lining. Oh, that's really cool, isn't it? And it's really perfect tablecloth. It's probably wipeable as well, I would imagine. Um, so, yeah, £3 a metre. Yes, yeah, £3, yeah, that £3 one. Have you got, what's this? These are the flags. Ooh. We sold out of the flag packets. Everybody was asking us for the flag packets for Friday and we sold out, but we have got something else. Oh, is that one of them? This is one of them. So yeah, we've got the actual flags in fabric. The flags. Yep, they are the right way up. Yep. They are the right way up. Um, they can't be the wrong way up. Yes, can they? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> this line, you have to help fly, fly the Union Jack for the correct orientation. Yes. Okay. Is that the right way up? Okay. I stand corrected. I'm Look, sorry. <laughs> wide bit, narrow bit. If you turn it up that way, narrow bit, wide bit. Oh, okay. Now I get it. Okay. I did not know that. I've actually learned something. Yeah, and everybody just heard me learn it. <laughs> Fantastic. We have also got because oh it fell off the end. Um, because bizarrely, this fabric had been printed wrongly, so we've also got the extra bit. So if you want to make a flag from down, yeah, oh that would make the flag. bunting, wouldn't it? Really well. It will make just really really cool bunting. Oh that's fantastic. Um, but we haven't thought about how we're going to sell it. No. We don't know how much this is. You two are the most wonderful professionals. Brilliant. I love this. It'll be cheap. We'll work it out. It'll be cheap. It'll be reasonably priced. Reasonably priced bunting. If you fancy the half a flag Union Jack bunting, just ask us when you give us a call. Fantastic. I'm gone. I'm gone. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much, both of you. Um, I think that's all from us for now. So anything you need, back to your coffee. Anything you need, do give us a call. 
um, but not within the next five minutes because Louise is eating lunch. Um, so give us a call in 10 minutes time if there's anything you need. And as I said, we're doing free local delivery or if you do happen to be in the area, you can collect from the doorstep. Please don't make a special journey just to come to us. But if you are shopping at Tesco's, we don't mind if people want to collect from the doorstep, although we can't let you into the shop. So thank you very much, everybody. And we will speak to you soon. Bye. Bye.